Hello there, don't mind the mess in my room. My room's always like this, don't worry. Uh, it's Noma, and uh, I don't care if it's like this. Okay, uh, I just want to tell you guys a little cool thing you did in my free time. So, I was just bored one day, I was grounded, and I was like, What if I made something with uh, some, uh, what thing called again? Skewers. Some skewers. And I was like, hmm. Well, I remember trying to make a crossbow and it didn't work. Because, no. I remembered. Well, I didn't remember. I saw, and I, well, I know that we have a bunch of rubber bands. Lots and lots of rubber bands. Like, so much you can seriously hurt someone with them. So, I thought of a brilliant idea. I made a bow and rubber bands. No, that doesn't make sense. A bow and arrow out of out of rubber bands and uh things. See, you got a bunch of rubber bands tied tightly around here to stop these. This rubber band right here. This one from moving. There's two of them because I just put them on like that. And yeah. So you got two of them. This is the rubber band, but the little thing. There's a little spot in the between where you put the arrow. Yeah, let me demonstrate. You see, this is my arrow. See the back right here? I made it so that it actually goes in the spot. And the front is pointy. So one second, I'm gonna set this up. There we go. Uh, that's my bow and arrow. And I'll show you how it works. See, I already shot this a couple times. Well, you can't see, but... Hopefully this is good. Okay. Oh, crap. We probably want it. Ah, there you go. That's pretty night, huh? Pretty, pretty night. Alright, I'll do it again. This time you get to see the inside of the box. Can I turn on the freaking light? Guess not. Guess you guys. Try to see it for yourself. Yeah, I gotta do something. Okay, you see, I'm loading it. Dang. Why you gotta blame me like this, huh? Huh? As you see, I am loading up the arrow. Yeah, that's scary. That's very, very scary. I'm not gonna be inside this box and then this happening. I'm gonna die. It's gonna hurt too. It's gonna be a pain in the butt. Yeah, that's basically it. This is my DIY bow and arrow I like to use a lot. Uh, it doesn't go very far. Considering it's a small arrow, it's not very accurate because it doesn't have any like. Like wings on the the arrow doesn't have any wings in the back. It's not very much. Which I heard is probably gonna be held in United. Uh yeah, okay, so hey, let me just let me just uh show you how it works. Without you know So this is how you load it. You just put it inside like that. Go through the things. You grab each rubber band. Like this. And then you pull this through. 
when you put it in the slot. When you're ready. See, it's not okay. Well, it's more accurate. That was more accurate that time, but it's not very accurate. I mean, it can be accurate if you're like super good at shooting around stuff. So you look, look, look at that, look at that, look at that. I'm not sure which camera. I have three of them. So I'm just going to just go all three of them. I don't know which one it is, so. Or it's all three, I don't know. Uh, what else can I do? Oh, yeah. Uh, there's a pizza box down there. I'm not sure if you see it. But I'm going to shoot it. Oh, yep. As I guessed, it was inaccurate. Yeah, it flew all the way and bounced around to here. Okay, well, I hope you mind. I hope you like my DIY bow and arrow. It was cool. I mean, it's not. I didn't think it was, it's, it's just something I did, and I thought it was cool. Okay, bye bye.